Dear participants of the Manifesto General Assembly, dear colleagues, dear friends, first of all, I wanted to congratulate everyone on this very festive occasion and to express my sincere regrets that I'm not there with you. The organization behind the Tourist Manifesto have proven to be not just powerful advocates of a great cause, but also good friends and professionals with whom I have collaborated very well during my activity as a member of the European Parliament. My message for you today is one of optimism and unity, by which I wish to acknowledge the progress made by a united tourism industry. At the same time, I would like also to bring to your attention several opportunities that can bring your organization closer to the European institution. What brought us together is that we both share a passion for tourism and we believe that this industry deserves to be a priority for the European Union. We still have a lot to do, but we've already attracted the attention of many people to the importance of tourism and they are talking about it and so is the European Commission. So, what I propose now is that we take the full advantage of this situation, especially at the beginning of a new session for the European institutions in Brussels. In terms of a potential time frame for action, we have two very interesting years ahead of us. First, there is the United Nations Year for Sustainable Tourism. I strongly believe this is a topic which in the following years will force all of us to reconsider the way we do tourism. Today, people become more and more aware of the environmental concerns, so the industry will have to be ready to provide solutions that address these concerns. This is why both my colleagues in the European Parliament and I will continue to look precisely into concrete ways for achieving sustainability. On the issue of strategy, I would like to bring to your attention that now I am in the progress of establishing a new SND working group. It will look into how we can integrate tourism into regional development and attract better funding. I hope that we can work together on horizontal aspects and give a new boost to the tourism initiatives. Second, the European Year for Cultural Heritage in 2018 is another fantastic opportunity to showcase the huge benefits of the tourism industry. Here, I would like to thank everyone once again for the amazing mobilization in asking to the Commission to deliver a year for our industry. In light of the strong connection between European culture and tourism, I believe that a year on cultural heritage will give us the chance to move closer to our objective. And it's very encouraging to see that the European Commission is coming to this from the same point of view. Looking at the European Commission proposal, which was published only a few days ago and which is now with the CALT Committee, it is clear that tourism is seen linked very close to the European culture. It is our job now to identify and promote the synergies between them. Many of you are already aware that I recently spoke to the Commissioner Navracic about the inclusion of tourism in the action plan for 2018 and he has offered his support for this initiative. Now we need to mobilize and collect a comprehensive list of ideas that will allow us to address all issues related to tourism. If you have any interesting proposal that could become part of this action plan, please let me know and I will present them to the Commission this autumn. A final idea that I want to share with you once again is the, about the importance of attracting and keeping talents in the field. We need to invest in good employees for a strong tourism sector and this can be only achieved by establishing a European Tourism Academy. Therefore, one of my goals here in the European Parliament is to push forward the creation of such an educational platform that would, in, would enable a better professional qualification in tourism. To conclude, I wish you all a great meeting and I hope that this next year will be very productive for us and for me here in the European Parliament. Thank you.